Hi there, thanks for joining me. This video is called Is Gluten-Free BS? And the reason I wanted to do this video is because in my house, my husband thinks that gluten-free is total BS. And I know for a fact, because I have been gluten-free for a little over six months, I know it is not BS. And I wanted to share with everyone that is thinking about going gluten-free or trying, you know, for the first time to really look at why. Um, just give them some idea of why I went gluten-free, what are my benefits, and also um, what to look for. Okay, so first thing, the reason I started the gluten-free diet is because I watch a lot on the Food Matters Network. Um, it's foodmatters.com. And from one of their shows, they were talking about the reasons why, um, <laughs> sorry, the reasons why glu gluten is, is the way it is. And here's the facts, ladies and gentlemen. Wheat today is entirely different than wheat 40 years ago. The reason why, because it has been genetically modified and the reason that it did that is actually to feed more people, right? So the wheat now that is different and the proteins that are, are expressed in the wheat is not, it's not something we can digest very well. They also found a correlation between the number of cases with autoimmune disease and these changes in the wheat. There's a, there's a correlation there. And as the numbers went up with people diagnosed with these diseases, also the wheat changes and modifying it, the wheat occurred. And if you have a, I've heard of celiac disease, um, this is an autoimmune disorder where the body reacts abnormally to gluten. So one thing I would recommend anyone wanting to do this is to get tested to see if they are allergic to gluten. Um, if you are, you should definitely get on a gluten-free diet. Um, you will see tremendous benefit there. If you're not, and if you just want to give it a try, here are the reasons why gluten is one of the core culprits for many diseases. Um, so dis it disrupts the gut lining. So whenever you eat gluten, your stomach has a really hard time digesting it. And it does, and it heals the lining in the gut. But one day it will stop doing that, and and it can't. I can't say when your body will decide to not digest gluten anymore. However, um, this is when your autoimmune disease begins. So if this occurs and you allow this to happen, um, and the gut lining no longer heals itself, um, you know, you can then have uh, what's called uh, candida leak into the bloodstream your body is um, going to start an autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis Hashimoto Crohn's disease or fibromyalgia and all autoimmune diseases do occur with a leaky gut and what what is the cause of a leaky gut gluten is a big factor there as among other things but gluten is one of them so a lot of things like inflammation, chronic conditions, autoimmune disorders, um, neurological conditions have all been driven by gluten. And this is all on this Food Matters network that I was telling you about. So once I, I really got into the, the facts there, ancestors didn't eat gluten. Uh, I'm from Central America. We eat more corn-based meals um, than wheat-based meals. And I went back to that. I switched, um, I substituted my bread for tortilla, tor um, corn tortillas. Um, I eat tortilla chips. I go gluten free on my pizza. I don't, you know, after six months, I don't crave the pasta and the bread like I used to. It's just that point where you need to um, find the right substitutes and get and stick with your guns and get past that. And I think it becomes easier right as you go and continue with your gluten-free diet. Now one of the first things that I realized is gluten goes by different names and you would have to make sure that you're not eating these as well. So 
on the label, if it says wheat anywhere, um, or flour, of course, barley, oats, soy sauce, and beer have gluten in them as well. But make sure that you're reading the labels and then you're also going towards um, options that say gluten-free. There's a lot of them nowadays. So you will see a gluten-free section, hopefully in your grocery store, and you could give those a try. They've gotten better in flavor, I think. I make my own gluten-free pizza, and I enjoy it very much. So, so again, on the studies of the ancestors, um, the nutrition from your ancestors really coincides with your own health. And when I look at what my ancestors were eating and what when I started eating an American-based diet, what I was giving up, and I went back to more of a traditional diet for myself. Now my family, like I'm saying, you know, is different, but they have, um, like for instance, my husband is on, is not on a gluten-free diet. So I, I make sure I eat things that don't have gluten in it. And it is possible because I have done it for over six months now. So, um, this is pretty much what I wanted to share, and I'll leave some links on the facts I have. Uh, oh, I have a really good website that you probably, I'll leave a link to it, but it is called glutenfreeliving.com, and you have tons of information here on how to live a gluten-free life, and let me know what you guys think and what happens and how you feel and if you have any suggestions or ideas you want to share, feel free. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.